Hi everybody, welcome back to T News Live at the Aviation Festival, uh, presented by JetBlue Technology Ventures and sponsored by Travel Air. My name is Martin Cowan, I'm editorial director for T News. Next up, I'm talking to Marco van Iperen. Is that correct? Yep, that's that correct. Yep, okay, that's yeah. Me. He's uh, head of airline partnerships for Kiwi.com. Now, Kiwi.com, I trust you're familiar with. It's invented virtual interlining, um, which again, I'm like to think that you're familiar with, but on the off chance you're not, Marco, just give us an idea about what virtual interlining actually is and how yep. Kiwi.com has been able to, to do something that seems quite obvious, but is actually quite tricky. Yeah, no, definitely. And um, if I start off, we see a lot of passengers, travelers nowadays doing self-connect, so they create their own travel itineraries. Um, uh, kind of they buy a ticket on one airline and a ticket on the other one and then they recollect their baggage at an airport and then they check in again. So that's kind of the self-connect and some research shows that already 40%, 40 percent, 40 for zero percent of passengers are using self-connect. And what Kiwi.com does as a technology and data provider, we created virtual interlining, kind of the next step. So on Kiwi.com and partners, you can book those separate tickets in one go. So there's one search element, there's one payment, uh, and there's a fallback system or mechanism which is called the Kiwi.com guarantee. So in case of flight disruption or delays uh, of your outbound flight, we automatically will take care of the passenger like an airline would do. So we rebook that passenger on the next flight and if it's not available, we book a hotel or transfer to another airport, uh, ultimately to get the passenger to the real end destination. Uh, okay. That's kind of the virtual interlining we do. So we combine the two airlines with the guarantee in the middle. Okay, so as head of airline partnerships, presumably your, your conversation is to get airlines to, to feed into your virtual interlining yeah. package, okay. It, but actually the two parts of it, yeah. definitely uh, yeah. we, um, we, Kiwi.com is kind of an OTA, we're an online travel agent ourselves and in the marketplace uh, with our virtual interlining product, but at the same time we're a technology provider to airlines and others. So me as head of airline partnerships, I try to acquire as much as content for Kiwi.com and for our platform so we have okay. better data to use to create those virtual interline itineraries. Currently we process around 30 billion virtual interlining options a day, uh, so, but we want to extend that. And secondly, uh, uh, we, sign, uh, we are in contact sorry, with airlines to promote our virtual interline solution for their own website, uh, to extend their network and to become uh, well, a kind of the, their own so it's like a white label version of Kiwi. Exactly, okay. so instead of the, say, the traditional interlining, we of kind provide a virtual interlining solution to them without the complex, which is called SPA, special pro-rate agreements, where they have revenue shares, uh, which is kind of tedious, cumbersome and expensive for airlines. We kind of digitalize that experience for airlines. We do it in a lighter way. We take all the heavy lifting from a technology point of view as well in case there is a flight disruption. So there are two parts, selling B2B and selling B2C. Okay, so when you're, you know, so in terms of the, you know, acquiring the, the airline content, I mean, is, is, is it a tech issue with the airlines? I mean, is it, or is it quite a light integration? That they yeah, with? Martin, it's very much so. It's, um, every airline has its own way how they would like to connect to us. And uh, we have the, the global distribution systems, obviously, in the middle. Uh, but that's not really, the, well, we use that source as well but we reach out to the airlines for inventory data, inventory dumps, direct connects, NDC, API, uh, to have access to the data directly so we can use that in our big database and crea create a cache for that. And as you can see on the website of Kiwi.com, the response time is really fast. It's within seconds. Uh, there are multiple options. So uh, indeed, a part of my role is with my team actually to to acquire the data content. So it's not necessarily commercial agreements, mm -hmm. although in the end we need to have some blessing of the airline to sell them as well. Yep. Okay, so I mean as the you know the, the the head of global partnerships, I mean are are 
you know, is virtual interlining just a sort of intra intra Europe thing, or can I fly? Could I get a ticket from London to Buenos Aires via Lima, for example? So, yeah. is, is, does the virtual interlining engine operate globally? Uh, it is indeed, okay. and it's even myself. I'm kind of still flabbergasted. The itineraries I see from some of the people booking at Kiwi.com, they're really, yeah. well, crazy. You could <laughs> say it's uh, so. No, it's not limited to regions or to geographical uh, regions yeah. as such. Um, we are operating globally over 170 markets. U.S. is our biggest market. Europe is second, okay. and Asia number three. And to increase our global footprint, we're currently acquiring more airline content in Africa and Latin America. And I have to say hi to Pedro, my colleague, mm -hmm. <laughs> otherwise he will... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, and actually I'm flying off to South America uh, on Friday to meet airlines uh, in the coming okay. weeks. Okay, well, good luck with that. I mean, um, uh, is, I mean, is there anything else going on at Kiwi apart from sort of the virtual interlining or is that such a such a USP for the business that, that that's basically what your, your focus is on. But there must be surely other, other things happening around the virtual interline. Yeah, so. it does. It's uh, definitely, and uh, if I pick out two, uh, one is Nomad, a product we launched yeah. recently, and it was kind of a cool thing for our developers to work with the data, the data sets of virtual interlining to create, which we call Nomad for backpackers, uh, to offer round-the-world tickets in a very creative way at a very affordable rate. So that is kind of a spin-off of the technology, the, the yeah. Nomad product. And uh, the other thing is that already a few airlines we have talked to in the B2B kind of world, they said, well, it's pretty cool what you're doing, guys. Uh, but actually, what you do is with the self, con sorry, the virtual interlining and the connecting at the airport, you take care of the passengers if a flight is delayed. Can you help us with ir irregular flight operations? Uh, okay. uh, so there is some, some requests and spin-offs which we are focusing on. And as such, we are kind of, uh, at the moment, creating which we call an airline distribution vertical within Kiwi.com okay. to s service those airlines in a even in a better way and we're currently looking as well to invest in other companies to extend our vertical and to complement and find synergies in that area. Okay, so I mean one other, one other thing, I mean other than the fact that it's, it's, it's quite cool to be able to do a, a virtual interlining to get, to get from A to B without when there isn't a, a, a direct flight, I mean is the benefit to the, to the traveller is it a convenience or is it a cost? I mean, how do, and if it is a cost, I mean, how does that work yeah. commercially in terms of if I buy, if I buy a virtual interlining through Kiwi.com rather than the two separate tickets? I mean, how 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 do the commercials work so that it's cheaper, assuming it is through Kiwi.com? Yeah, for, for for we do it for the end traveller because yeah. we're in the game for making travel better. That, that's what we are for. So definitely there's a big focus on it. And, and the virtual interlining bring to the end traveler a, a few, well, quite a few uh, 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 um, uh, good options. Uh, first of all, we, we connect or we create the, which we call the true O&D because airlines are looking at O&Ds. Yeah. But most of the travelers, like your example a minute ago, it's not just that they fly from, uh, from A to B. There are, they have end destinations. So that's one thing. Secondly, indeed, if we create those itineraries in a different way, we knock off quite a lot of the, the prices as well. Uh, so we make travel more affordable to, to them as well. Okay. So, so no, and that's why we're for making tri, uh, travel better, uh, reducing the cost of travel, making it more affordable and create more convenience and give the protection through the Kiwi.com guarantee. Okay, all right. all right. Well, Marco, thanks very much for taking the time to join us. I'm sure you're busy. You're sure you've got lots of airlines to talk about partnerships with. Um, thanks very much for making the time to join me. Okay, this is uh, T News Live at the Aviation Festival, presented by JetBlue Technology Ventures and sponsored by Travel Air. My name is Martin Cowan, and this is it for today. But we'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget to tune in, 10 a.m. BST. Um, another succession of interviewees on the sofa with me. Um, I look forward to seeing you all then. Thanks very much.